Now, if you're one of the millions of people who received an email from Shopify, just like this one, <laughs> asking you to update your DMARC records, but you're freaking out, it seems all too techy, and you just don't know what to do. And if you don't do it by February 1, everything's gonna break. Well, luckily for you, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, and it's actually not that hard. It's a quick three-step process that should only take you a couple of minutes, and once you've done it, you can put all this DMARC nonsense behind you. Before I do that, I just wanna give you a quick overview of why this is important. And the reason that Shopify are asking you to do this is because big email providers like Gmail and Yahoo are making some changes to their rules to try and prevent spammy sites. And Shopify doesn't want to see you as a spammy site, so we need to update some records that prove that you're not gonna be spamming people. Shopify would have referenced this article in their email. And basically what this article tells us is that Google and Yahoo are going to need some additional information on your domain that links into Shopify so that Shopify can send emails on your behalf. You're approving Shopify to send emails because if Shopify just sends emails out there and you haven't approved it, they could effectively spam your domain and you get blacklisted. And if that's the case, then your emails are gonna end up in the spam filters and you're not gonna be able to market to anyone using email. They're not gonna receive your order confirmations. They're not gonna receive any email messages from you whatsoever. So it's a really important thing that you do. Now this change comes into effect on February 1. Google and Yahoo are going to implement these changes and then Shopify is also going to switch around the way their store works because if you don't have the DMARC set up, it will then send emails from this email address, stores at shopify.com. And we don't want that because we want emails to come from your domain. All right, so that's what's happening. Now let me take you through what you need to do on your store to get this DMARC issue solved. So first of all, we're gonna check that you actually need to do this. Shopify sent the email out to everybody. They didn't really check to see whether you did or didn't need to do it. Now, lucky for you, there is a tool out there that helps check this, and it's called a DMARC record checker. Who'd have thought it would have such a simple name like that? But this is an inspector for your DMARC records. I put the link down below and you should be able to grab it. Otherwise, you could just search for DMARC inspector. But we scroll down here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our domain directly into this. And we click inspect the domain. And it goes out there and it tells us there's no DMARC record published. This means that we do need to add a record in. So that's the first step. We know we now need to do it. So let's go into the second step to see if we need to do something else at the same time. I want you to head over to your Shopify store and I want you to click your settings and go to notifications. In here, you're going to see your sender email. Now this is our sender email here and you should see a little green tick that says domain successfully authenticated. If you don't see that, you're going to see a link to some instructions and the instructions are gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to authenticate that domain. We're gonna to need to do that first. So you're gonna click a little link that brings up this section here and it tells you the way you need to authenticate your domain and this is also using records. So we're gonna reference things called records here and what these are is called DNS records. So every domain that you have on the internet, and the domain is the thing that is a .com, basically has a set of rules behind it. And those rules basically tell the internet what to do when someone hits that domain. So if we go to www.yourdomain.com, what then happens is your internet provider goes to that domain, looks it up and says, what do you want me to do when I hit www.yourdomain.com? And it will say, I want you to go to the Shopify store. Okay, so that's one sort of thing. The other thing the DNS records do is they prove to uh, other providers that you are who you say you are. So we go the other way around. If you've got a Shopify store, Shopify then says, well, I need to prove that you own this domain. And this is where we will put records in there so that when Shopify checks your domain, it puts it against what it's told you to put in there. And it says, hey, I agree, we authenticate, and I know that you own this domain and we are valid, okay? And this just helps with security moving forward. So a DNS record is the little rules that we put in behind a domain. So what you'll need to do with this one is these are called CNAME records. And these are items that we're gonna to need to paste against our domain provider. A domain provider, it places like GoDaddy or 123reg, or you may have actually bought the domain directly from Shopify. Every one of these domain providers allows you to add these DNS records in. So that's what we need to do now. We need to add the DNS record in to authenticate it. And, and we also need to add the DMARC DNS record. Now to know what the DMARC record is pretty simple. It's one line of code and I've put it down below. It basically looks a little bit like this. So this is the value that we need to add and we call this a text record. And I'll take you through how to add that in. But in this text record, we need to change this to be the same email address that you have on your Shopify store. So if we have a look at my store, we've got support at colorpods.com is my 
email address for this store. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type in support at colorpods.com. Okay, so we've got that ready and this is the text that we're gonna put in there. So now we're gonna jump across to our domain provider and add this in now. So I'm using GoDaddy to manage my DNS record. So what I've done is I've clicked the domain that I wanna manage and then I've clicked DNS here. And what we need to do is click add new record. In here, we're gonna choose text record and we're gonna type in underscore DMARC. And then in the value, we're gonna grab that value we talked about earlier. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it directly in here. Now the TTL we can leave at half an hour, 30 minutes, an hour, it doesn't really matter. That just says how often this refreshes and we click save. And that's actually all you have to do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the DMARC inspector and see whether or not we get the green light on this being correctly set up. Okay, colorpods.com, inspect the domain. Oh yeah, hooray, your DMARC record is valid. So that's pretty much it. This is now set up and we can ignore those emails from Shopify because we now comply with what Google and Yahoo Mail want us to do. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear back from you down below. If this is the first time you're hearing from me, I'd really like it if you could subscribe to the channel because I put nuggets like this out all the time. Not only how to fix things on your Shopify store, but how to grow and build a great online business. Feel free to check out some of my other videos.